Welcome to your healing meditation for this full moon and eclipse in Taurus taking place on October 28th. I'm Melissa, an energy witch, Reiki master, and transformational coach, and today I'll be guiding you through an emotional release, full chakra cleansing and balancing, and some deep shadow work to close this two-year chapter with confidence. As usual, I'll be sending you distant Reiki energy healing throughout this meditation so you can go ahead and give me permission to do that now. You may be feeling some intense energy and the chaotic unpredictability that an eclipse brings, but there is absolutely nothing to fear as it's all happening for your highest and greatest good, growth, and healing. It's a time of closure, of completion, of transformation and healing as we close a chapter that started in November 2021. So think back to that time. Remember the themes that were being played out and really watch how much you've grown and how much you've accomplished since then. This is also a pivotal moment. You are being reborn. So feel into the ways that you've transformed and the new chapters that are beginning for you right now. This moon will shed light on what we've been ignoring or simply unaware of. Our blind spots and some secrets may come to light as well. So any inner work, especially shadow work, are of course favored under this full moon and eclipse. Right now is an excellent time to reflect and journal on what you're not accepting of yourself, what you're judging in others, which is usually what you're judging most in yourself. So do your best to pour compassion and understanding into why you perceive yourself and others as you do and see if there's any way that you can shift that in order to open up to love, self-acceptance, harmony, peace, and greater loving awareness. We will dive a little deeper into that in just a moment, but first I really invite you to sit with how you're feeling right now. Oftentimes these phases and this kind of energy can drain you, can bring intensity and may even feel more challenging or triggering. So feel into it. What emotions have you not let yourself feel? Take this moment right now to check in and feel it to heal it. What's coming up for you? What's been going on in your life these days? This can be big things, little things, old memories surfacing or strange occurrences. So really focus and be present with yourself. You can write it down if you want or pause the video to give yourself a little bit more time. I would also like to encourage you to cultivate the relationship you have with yourself. So checking in like this regularly, asking yourself how you're feeling, truly feeling, taking excellent care of yourself, listening to your needs and desires, standing up for yourself, and ultimately being your own best friend. That being said, of course you're doing such a great job taking this time for you right now to slow down, listen to your body, listen to your heart, and really assess what's happening, where you want to go, what's important to you, and what your goals are. So if you feel called, you can journal on that now before we start on the hypnosis session. And if you're ready for that, you're welcome to light a candle. Ideally, you can cover your eyes with some fabric or an eye mask for sleeping. But all you really need to do is relax, breathe, and listen to my words. I'm gonna ask you now to settle down in a comfortable position, adjust until you get it just right, lying down comfortably or seated in a way that allows you to relax completely. Once you're nice and comfortable, just begin breathing very slowly and deeply in through the nose and out. 
out through the mouth. So filling the belly and then the chest on the way in. And then exhaling fully on the way out. As you deepen your breath, and relax more and more deeply, feeling the tension, both physical and emotional, leave your body completely. You are sinking deeper and deeper into the surface beneath you. Really, when we allow ourselves to melt into the hypnosis, we are at our most suggestible. We tap into the subconscious mind and we can reprogram our minds to operate in the most supportive and empowering way. This is especially true if you hold the desire to change your thought patterns. And if this is your first hypnotherapy experience, or even if it's not, know that while you may be transported with your mind, your consciousness is still present and you are still aware. So drop any expectations and let yourself be guided by my voice. Simply relax and listen to the words I am speaking and follow my suggestions. Even if you don't perfectly imagine what I'm saying, this experience will be exactly what you need it to be. So trust yourself, trust this experience and know that all that transpires here today is for your highest good. All you have to do is relax and listen to my words. Know that your guides and angels and ancestors surround you now. Their love and protection will keep you completely protected and safe in all directions of space and time. Feel their loving presence all around you like a warm embrace. They will accompany you on this journey so you have truly nothing to fear. Just breathe and relax deeper and deeper, sinking more and more into the surface beneath you, letting the earth support you fully, letting yourself be held completely so that you can let your mind wander freely. You might see yourself now standing in front of an ancient stone wall and you can feel the curiosity building within you as to what could possibly be on the other side of the wall. You notice a symbol on the wall to the right of you. Moving closer to it now and inspecting it carefully, what does it look like? Just know now that when you place your hand on this symbol, it will make an opening in the wall for you to step through, like a magic gateway just for you. So focus on the symbol, and when you're ready, place your hand on it. When you do, the bricks rearrange and open just enough to let you through. Step through the opening. As soon as you're on the other side, the opening closes. You now find yourself in the most gorgeous, lush, vibrant, and colorful secret garden. This garden is just for you, your private little peaceful haven. So notice all the details, the birds singing, the sun shining, the bright colors of greens and purples and pinks and blues, reds, yellows, and oranges. There's an ancient well and a little pond, as well as a fire pit. There are endless flowers and herbs and fruit trees and vegetables. You may even spot a little rabbit or a squirrel or a chipmunk. And at the very center of the garden is a gigantic ancient olive tree with protruding roots and imposing branches. Its trunk is enormous. Just by seeing this tree, you feel your energy pulled down and grounded. But make your way over regardless. 
it's time to ground into Gaia Mother Earth. Feel the vibrations emanating off this powerful tree. Place your bare feet on its roots and find a spot for you to sit with your spine against its massive trunk. As soon as you're settled, a deep calm washes over you and you feel your root chakra at the base of your spine activate. Roots begin sprouting out of it and plugging into the infinite root system of this magical tree. Feel your energy coursing down deep to the core of the earth, tethering you and grounding you completely. And now drawing earth energy back up into your body. Feel it coursing through you, healing you, grounding you, and energizing you, filling you with a potent earth medicine. It is now time to place a protective shield all around yourself so you can call down this protection from the infinite cosmos. Watch as a cylinder of light blue protective energy beams down to envelop you completely, protecting you in all directions of space and time and allowing in only what is for your highest and greatest good. You now look over to the well and you notice that there's a ladder in it. It is a sturdy ladder and there's some energy from within the well beckoning to you. You just know that you're being called to descend into this enchanted well so you can rise up now from your spot at the base of the tree and walk over to the well feeling so certain that this is your next step on your healing journey. You make your way onto the ledge of the well and gingerly place one foot after the other on the ladder and you make your way down one rung at a time descending into this magical portal. As it gets darker and darker, you aren't afraid. You are guided and protected and supported as you make your descent. Looking down, you see a little spark of light and soon enough, you've made it to the bottom of the well and you notice that the well has long been dry and you find yourself in a cave. And on the walls of this cave are symbols painted in glow-in-the-dark paint. These are ancient healing codes and they light up this space and charge it with energy. And then notice that huddled in the corner is a version of you that you've never seen before. This is your shadow. This is the version of you that is the amalgamation of all of the unwanted, unacceptable qualities, traits, imperfections that you have disassociated yourself from. All the physical, emotional, interpersonal aspects of yourself that you have deemed unlovable, wrong, disgusting, or inappropriate. So really take a good look at them. What do you see? What do they look like? What is their personality like? And how do they feel? Now ask yourself, why have you relegated these qualities to them? What makes you so ashamed of them? I want to remind you that every human being on the planet has a shadow self just like you do. The shadow is the dark side of our personality because it consists mainly of primitive or negative human emotions and impulses like rage and envy, greed, selfishness, desire, and the striving for power. All that we deny in ourselves Whatever we perceive as inferior or evil or unacceptable becomes part of the shadow. Anything that doesn't match our chosen conscious attitude about ourselves gets sent to this dark side. Now the sooner we can accept and embrace this side of ourselves, 
the easier everything gets. Relationships, manifestation, health and well-being, finances, any resistance that we have simply releases as the shame and guilt do. Now you can choose to examine one experience from the past that you still hold shame or guilt or regret about. Something you have done that is preventing you from accepting and loving yourself deeply. Something that you still shudder to think about. Do you remember what it was like to be that version of yourself? Everything that was stacked against you, your emotional state, the pain you had in your heart. Now look at that shadow version and see that they are really doing their best with the circumstances, energy, awareness, and resources that they have. And they are just lovingly holding on to all that you do not accept until you're ready to acknowledge it and heal it. And now is that moment. Look into their eyes and say, I forgive you. I understand you. I know that you're doing your best. You are such a good person and you have such a big heart and you deserve to be loved. You deserve to be understood and accepted. You deserve to have all that you need and want. You deserve to be supported and taken care of and you are perfect as you are. And when you're ready, I want you to reach out and embrace your shadow. When you do, know that this dark part of yourself has never been seen, never been accepted, and never been loved. So it's quite normal to feel emotional here. And as you embrace, you and your shadow integrate and become one. So breathe very deeply. Feel yourself wrapped in love and notice that the symbols on the cave walls become so bright that they create a blinding healing light that penetrates your body completely. You are immersed and floating in this pure white healing energy. And as you breathe deeply, feel all the old patterns of shame, guilt, fear, doubts and limiting stories just fall away from you. Let the knots of tension and the energy of unworthiness come away from your being. Let it all swiftly but gently be pulled away from you now, all littleness, bitterness, inadequacy dissolving completely. Anything that you have felt shame about and kept hidden in the dark is now out in the light of this healing energy. Trust that you are even more lovable, deserving, and worthy than ever before. Feel a powerful wave of relief coursing through you. Your past does not define you. What you have done under duress is inconsequential. No matter what, you are deserving of love, of healing, relief, nurturing, freedom, satisfaction, peace, and abundance. Feel yourself being purified and healed on the deepest levels of your being. All you need to do is breathe very deeply and very slowly and allow this healing energy to do all the work. This healing energy courses through all of your chakras, activating them for your wildest levels of success and joy. You now feel so light. You float effortlessly back up the well and into your secret garden. You are surrounded by butterflies and can see the sun shining even brighter than before. You feel like an ethereal being on this earth because you are. You walk around the garden, inspecting the herbs and flowers and fruits and veggies. You can feel the abundance of nature and you immerse yourself in its wise beauty. Just remember that you are a part of this. You are it, it is you. And you too are wise, beautiful, and abundant in all ways. You are worthy. 
you are nourished and you are healed. And when you're ready, it's time to return to your physical body. Know that you can return to your secret garden whenever you wish to. But for now, just give thanks to yourself, to your guides, to your angels, and your ancestors. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And with the power of your gratitude, you float up into the blue, blue sky. And slowly, gently descend back into your current waking life and physical body. Feel yourself return. And bring some gentle movement into your fingers and toes. Take some deep cleansing breaths. And remember to drink plenty of water today as we've done some powerful deep healing. I also encourage you to seal this practice with some gentle movements, so some stretching, a dance party, a walk in nature, whatever feels good to you. And if you've made it to the end, let me know in the comments below. I wish you a most magically healing partial lunar eclipse and full moon in Taurus. And I will see you in the next one.